Ah, wrong overlay. Whatever. <laughs> Great. And now the music's restarting. Hello, y'all. Uh, I'm thoroughly surprised I'm here. Uh, nice imitation, but you're missing the red suit and red suit, beard, and gloves. Ho ho ho! Ah, uh, all right. Gonna be dead honest with you here. I don't know what the stream is gonna be now. <laughs> um, for those who may not know me, avert your gaze because this is the unhinged and unaware of what time it is. Ricky T. Bones. Crimbo. Alright, fair enough. I have no idea. Genuinely. I have some ideas, but nothing concrete. Um, we're not playing Blasphemous, that's for sure. Um, that's a Souls-like. A Souls-like Metroidvania. And I don't have the brain power to deal with it. So, I got a couple ideas. Mostly, it's gonna be, like, rudimentary stuff I don't normally have time for. And, in case you're worried, no, that's not, that's not proper coffee, that's decaf. I just need to fool my brain somehow. Anyway, thank y'all for showing up. I, I appreciate you, as always. But y'all know that by now. Oh boy. Stuff on a wheel and spin it? Hmm. I mean, okay, tell you what. That's not a bad idea ish, but I'm not gonna put it on a wheel. I'm gonna I'm gonna write some things down. Maybe I'll put it on screen. Because like in a nutshell, I have I've become so busy that my brain has has needed to like stop me dead <laughs> just to breathe so now I'm having to do might have to do it on stream just to make sure it gets done but let me we this is I'm thinking I'm thinking this is mostly gonna be an experimental stream like I'm gonna do a couple why not sleep um because I didn't Because I want to, I, I appreciate the sentiment, but I want to do something. I want to do something because I have been feeling in and out all day and I want to get something done. You know, like the time I was like so overheated I couldn't get shit done. And then I just decided to do a, a drawing stream with earbuds in. It's that kind of like drive, you know, you know feeling... Exactly, let's make it fun and enjoyable. That's the whole point of tonight, apparently. <laughs> Talking with you guys helps a lot, trust me. So, uh, things to try out this stream. You will be the test subjects, and I will be the nervous tester. Uh, I won't bore you with, say, trying out games, except maybe a couple, but... This is mostly going to be like a behind the bones sort of deal. I am low energy as hell, and I got a lot to do. See? Exactly. So it's probably going to be like, like streamer, like chat, or something like that. Um, things we're going to try. First, more than likely, because I have it right next to me, I will be reading. I'm probably going to like shut off music. Simply read, give it like one one chapter. Don't worry, one like about six pages, and we're gonna see how we feel about it. Like, can I make that into an interesting stream? I have here next to me the great illustrated classics version of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I have one excerpt bookmarked, and that will be our test run for that. Second thing, this is a maybe. D B, D, proper. 
we might try playing Dead by Daylight on stream tonight. Feels like you're practicing being a voice actor. Kind of, yeah. I, I, I've always liked doing weird voices and reading aloud to like classes or my, fr my friends or family. So that was a dream at some point, but then I realized, hmm, you can't really do that while there's an AC next to you in 90 degree weather. <laughs> It's never been in the cards for me. Never worked out, unfortunately. Nice ideas, though. I know Funimation used to be based in, like, Dallas, right? So there was a chance, maybe. Ugh. Coffee. Sweet, sweet nectar of the gods. Decaffeinated, but still something. Okay. Third. Let's see. Was there anything... I think so, yeah. I, I, Funimation, if I recall correctly, is Texas-based. Let's see, what else was I gonna... Is that really... No, that's not a good idea not to do on stream. I'm not gonna test out fear, because that's gonna scare everybody here. <laughs> um, maybe some have a nice death for fun. In case I, like, run out of stuff to do. I'll just put that on there. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? This is probably going to be one of the first things we do after reading. On stream. Uh, what would I want to say here? Yeah, sure, why not? B, G, M making and this is mostly to see like how it looks on stream on the VOD um, I know for a fact you're not going to be able to see any of the like really cool UI of the plugins that's the only downside but I want to see what it's like you know to be in the band stands if you will we'll just write something short maybe a sting maybe something for Kai on trial I'm not sure uh, not going to subject you to coding because that's boring as hell. That would basically be you listening to lo-fi and t me typing. <laughs> or maybe, you know what? Uh, okay. How do you guys feel about visual novels? You like writing fan fiction? You like writing stuff? Anything to do with Phoenix Wright? We could try writing the next charge together. Because I have one charge down. Uh, that was... <laughs> Uh, Kai's drunk driving stream. Uh, the next charge is... Oh, false advertising. That's right. So Kai has a legendary streak of making Minecraft streams without actually getting anything done. <laughs> so I thought, okay, that might be false advertising. The other thing was going to be like playing on the um, history she has with Miguel Ojara. Let's not delve into that. It's it's a fun little gag, but it's grown old. And the third charge is... Uh, what is it? Um, impersonating a teacher. That's right. She did a five-day teacher thing, but I, I'll save that for my own time. Okay, well, we'll put that down as a maybe. And where is it? K-O-T... Writing. Okay. So, let's go through this. See what's viable, what's not. And have some fun, because... I think this stream is doomed to failure anyway. Sure as shit, nobody's gonna check out the VOD. <laughs> Just because nobody knows what the hella chill variety stream is. It could be anything. And I'm sure nobody's instinctively, like, looking that up. But that's fine. That's fine. We're here to have a little fun so Ricky T. Bones doesn't, you know, go to sleep on a on a bad, bad mine of fire. Always check out the VOD. Nice to hear, Ryan. Nice to hear. Also, congrats proper on finishing Deathless Mega Man X. Kudos to you. I could never do that. I just don't have, like, I don't have the machine function anymore, man. Like, at some point, I was a platforming god as a kid, but now? Maybe, maybe it has something to do with the tech, 
Maybe it has something to do with input lag. More than likely, it's just me. It's probably just me being an old 22 alive, five dead skeleton. All right, so. <clears throat> uh, first things first. I guess, yeah. Okay, I got an idea. So first, what we're gonna do is set up as if we're doing a karaoke because this is a dramatic reading. We'll be reading one chapter, a very short chapter. They're like six pages long. Hitless. <laughs> that's, that's just torture. That's torture to not get hit in Mega Man X. There's... You... Ryan, don't tell me you're considering it. <laughs> okay. No promises on completing. There, you have a bit of sanity. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if I can get this situated. So let me go ahead and go over to the game screen. Gonna set up back there. One moment. Uh-huh. Oops. <laughs> those are on top. Um, I will go ahead and group those. And one of these days, I will do, like, a proper video on... Like, what is it? What I do. What it is I do. The do I do, I do so well. Because I know... I know, like, Frankie could... Frankie could use the advice because I know he's got a lot of issues with sound. Um, especially in regards to, like, this overlay you see around me. This took several iterations to get right. Okay, that. And then... Boom. Okay. Perfect. We're good to go back. <clears throat> All right. Wait. What about Vile? Oh, yeah, you have to hit, get hit by Vile. Well, in in the grand scheme of things, that would be a give. That would be a mulligan. You should be fine getting hit by him. In my book. Okay. Let's go ahead and stop the music. Uh, reverb or no reverb for this dramatic reading? <clears throat> Why can I still hear it? Reverb. Okay, I hear one for reverb. Going once. Going twice. Reverb it is. <clears throat> Let me just make sure nobody's stepping. Hold on. Okay, nothing but but cats as far as the eye, as far as the ear can hear. Okay. Ahem. And this is in preparation for, hopefully, the scary story stream. Uh, I asked my father if he still has his old copy of Edgar Allan Poe poems. <laughs> you got hit by the bee. Oh. See, it's not easy, especially not in old games like that. Everything's out to steal your quarters. Right. Yeah. So, Edgar Allan Poe should be on the docket, and then Teeny Tiny and the Wicked Witch. So, here we go. <coughs> Chapter 5. The Spark of Life. In Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. It was a dreary night in November when my work was finally finished. The rain beating at the window drowned out the clanking of my instruments as I gathered all but a few and put them away. I looked down at the lifeless creature that lay on the table before me, and I knew I was ready to give him life. The candle that lit my laboratory was nearly burned out, but gave me enough light to touch the creature with my instruments. That touch created the spark that brought him to life! 
Slowly, the dull yellow eyes of the creature opened. A hard, raspy breath lifted his huge chest at the same time that his gigantic arms began to jerk with convulsive movements. I stared hard at this creature I had spent two years forming. Once I had considered this a beautiful piece of work, the result of my life's dream, but now it filled me with horror and disgust. His yellowed skin was stretched over bones and muscle, barely covering them. His long black hair flowed down over the shriveled skin of his grotesque face and thick neck, and his pearly white teeth contrasted with the straight blackened lips surrounding them. What had I done? I couldn't bear looking at the horrible creature another minute, and I rushed out of the laboratory and down to my apartment. Throwing myself on the bed, still with my clothes on, I hoped that sleep would erase from my brain the ugly picture of horror and disgust I had seen. Sleep finally came, but it brought wild dreams of death and Elizabeth and my mother. When I woke, suddenly, in a panic, my teeth were chattering, my arms, legs were convulsing. The dim of the moon shone through the window into my bedroom. As my eyes flew open, the moonlight revealed a huge figure of the monster as he lifted up the curtains around my bed. I stared at him. He stared down at me with a horrible grin that forced wrinkles in his cheeks and stretched his ugly blackened lips. His jaw moved and muttered some sounds that had no meaning. As he reached out to me, I jumped from my bed and rushed out the door of my apartment. I fled down the stairs and into the courtyard. I hid there, weak, horrified, and bitterly disillusioned for the rest of that dismal, rainy night. Thank you. Thank you. I think that was a B. B plus. Okay, let's get the music back before it starts creeping. Everybody else gets creeped out. Huh. It's been a long time since I've done that. I practiced it a couple times earlier today. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. I hope so. Um, I've listened back to my own voice, like, back when we played... What was it? Hooked on You? And I legitimately fell asleep. <laughs> well done. Step one is complete. In the, in the grand scheme of things, the nice thing is that you probably don't need to, like, start from the very beginning if you get hit. <clears throat> like, you could just get hit and then drop down, drop out of the levels, restart. I don't know. I don't know what kind of stringent uh, details Crafty is thinking in mind. Oh, no. What are you going to do about the homing missiles? Ugh. Okay. So, there we go. That is how you... Do a cold line read. I've done it a lot of times in my lifetime. Like back in, um, um, I called it CCD just because that's what my parents called it. But I think it was like faith formation classes back in, back in Sunday school. Um, they teachers used to get get us to read aloud, and growing up in a Hispanic neighborhood. Everybody else's grasp of English was absolute dog shit. <laughs> so when it came time to read, I often got up. Oh, not the lumberjack. I often got up and volunteered because I was the one who could. I was probably the only one in that class that could read clearly. Everybody else, like, just did the whole monotone, like. Great illustrated classics, Frankenstein, Mary Shelley, chapter one. It was, it was, it was, it was classic kids, you know? But, I've been cold reading since I was a kid, basically. And I have a lot to thank for scholastic, scholastic videos. Like, growing up a homeschooler, you get exposed to a lot, and that's, that's really one of the main reasons I can do improv so well. As I always say. Alright, let me see... What we could do next on stream. Uh, okay. So 
let's go ahead while I've got brain power. Let's try doing some music making. First, I need to go ahead and switch off all of this. Give me just a second. Well, wait, why am I still here? Hey. Get me out of this place. You got this. Come on. Swap over. <sighs> Looks like VTube Studios just hooked in over there. Give me a second. This is the most informal thing I've ever done. Exactamundo. There. See? Flawless. Alright. Let me go ahead and switch that back up. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Wait, what is that then? Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Alright, so the studio's back up and running. We'll stick around here because, um, one, we don't need BGM, and two, we need a place to view everything. So I already loaded up Ableton earlier. If you don't know, Ableton Live is a paid music software. It's where I have made all of my music. Reaper, what we've seen before uh, when I did the Demon Dice stream, or the explaining Dark Hour, that's Reaper. And I noticed during that stream that actually there was, there was no, like I said, fancy UI. So um, I'll try my best to be descriptive about what I'm seeing and what I'm doing. But the way I figure it, I think it's either going to be we attempt to write some stream BGM, maybe for Halloween, or we could try writing something for Kai on Trial, the VN I'm working on. So, in regards to that, actually, I'll, I'll listen to your opinion. So, Kai on Trial, right now, um, I have two ways. Very nice. Um, I have two ways of going about it. One, I... Uh, what is it? What is it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? It's very hard to do, actually. Like the safety measures in the vile fight are impressive. Hmm. I need to go get some more coffee in a second. Um. <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Right. So, uh, in regards to the Kai on trial thing, I have two ways of going about it. One way. Oh, okay, we're back. Found just some way when you get close, but you aren't supposed to keep walking towards him. Ah, okay. Let me just double check, make sure everything is set up. Okay. I'm still moving good, and Ableton is smaller for some reason. Why is Ableton smaller? Hang on. Ah, because that's not Ableton. That's not Ableton getting captured. Whoops, uh, so that's it. And three, two, one. Eh? There we go. Single sliver of contact damage. Hmm. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do the Kai BGM just because that's not going to be like anytime soon. Ghoulish cannon walls. There we go. So we got two ways of go about going about this. Um, we've got one idea, which is use chip synth SFC, make it SNES quality, but that's not how the original games were. The original games were mostly on the DS platform. Hold on, let me double check something. Yes, okay. I'm just seeing things. I found... Um... And I have to reiterate, this is only for fan creation purposes. I'm not monetizing this in any way. I found somebody who took the files from the game and created a sound font. If you don't know what a sound font is, it's essentially a downloadable library of all the game's instruments. 
Now those instruments were originally on synthesizer machines or downloaded samples that were officially used by Capcom. In my respect, I can, like, with Chips of SFC, let's say, all right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and lower that by five so it doesn't blast out everybody's ears. Hmm? Hang on. Let me make sure that's actually coming through. Uh-oh. I know why. There we go. <clears throat> exactly, exactly like MIDI. That's exactly what we're working with here. Okay, I'm going to load that by five. Six, actually. Perfect. So, that sounds familiar to you, maybe. Made the ice stage, got hit by a bunny shot. I'm telling you, man, that hitless run ain't worth it. So... Uh, sound fonts, I'm looking at, I'm, this is, I'm holding the chips of the SFC mod menu right now. Sound fonts basically work like this. You go to, I should not hit rock and roll raising, that's actually a copyright strike. Uh, you go to a game that you like, you download its sound font, let's say, something recognizable and not gonna blow out my ears. Actually, Killer Instinct works. And then we can go to that sound library. Solo something. Actually, gonna let that run. Let's see. We can grab that bass. This is a simplified way of doing it. And now, that bass belongs to us. Boom. That's sound fonts in a nutshell. You download those sound libraries with that game and you immediately have access to all the samples as they were portrayed. When it comes to our... Um, what's it? Where is it? When it comes to the sounds for Ace Attorney, that's kind of where it becomes an issue. I have now loaded S4 Zondo. It's a freeware that allows you to open up what's called SF2 or SFZ files. This is a complicated UI that I am not happy with in the slightest, but you immediately get access to the recognizable stuff. That wonderful sound from Cornered, Pursuit. It's the, the terrifying thing about these though is that they can become, they are samples. So all you're doing is pitching it up and down, up and down, up and down. So I have to be very careful about what I pick. In this case, what we want to do is start with a drum set. <laughs> yes, music production, Frankie. I didn't feel up to bullshitting my way through Blasphemous and, you know, trying to maintain interest. But, um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to do frickin' anything I want tonight because I don't feel up to much. <laughs> Come on, you've heard me swear like a sailor before. You know I don't give a damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that you did. That you did, Frankie. You missed my audiobook debut. Uh, we are attempting to make right now something that is I'm lo I'm about to load up another instrument um, so Ugh. also Ryan in the meanwhile is trying to do Mega Man X hitless <laughs> you always miss the good stuff you almost freaking missed all of the May stream my god all right where is it? Uh, RFA drum, there we go. So, Court always starts with a steady beat like that. It, it's subtle, but it doesn't arrive immediately. So, I need to first double check. Dun, 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 dun. 
Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna guarantee that I'm gonna make a fantastic orchestra tonight, but I'm gonna try and get some ideas on paper. So, this is courtroom ambience. This is gonna be playing during the intro. By the way, um, this is gonna... I, I guess I should probably... I'm gonna have to depin ya. Depin ya? Depin ya? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, buddy. You would be surprised. You would be surprised. Like, if you've ever actually tuned in... There was an amazing stream by Mick Gordon that's no longer with us, sadly, um, where he actually went into the behind the scenes of how he did the Hell Choir. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's time to put down the Mega Man sauce, buddy. <laughs> You've been hitting it too much. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yes. So. I, you watched it? Yeah. I, I wish I could have gotten back and gotten like the, the raw samples that he put on display. Oh man, I know. Oh, what was it? There's a there's a really cool. There's a there's a Sega there's a Sega Genesis remixer out there who actually did a freaking fantastic rendition of Meat Hook from Doom Eternal, and he included the samples from the Hell Choir. Ah, oh, so good. It's getting shorter and shorter those runs, amigo. <laughs> Anyway, um, give me two shakes of a squirrel's tail. I need to go grab some more decaf. I don't know why. It, it's tasty. Be back in but a moment. For the love of God, VTube Studio, please. <laughs> uh, I need to go back to the Deadbeat Studio and unhook myself. Yep, there I am. Where is VTube Studio? Tell me. Tell me what you know. There we are. Boom. Back in action. <clears throat> um, to answer your question, Mimsy. McCordon's such a legend, yes. To a Waffle House Fight Club. <laughs> Sorry, catching up on chat. Only music I make is music remakes. I do my best. Hey, 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 interesting. That's actually what I did. Um, when I did my, um, it's kind of a legacy thing on this channel at this point, but <clears throat> back in the day, I used to make SNES remixes by ear. So I did a lot of Mick Gordon, Mick Gordon stuff um, for Killer Instinct. I remade it using the Killer Instinct sound font as best I could. And what else did I... Is that really all I did? Oh, and I also made um, a Hat in Time remix. And a Hat, a Hat in Time SNES remix. 
Good try, Ryan. Good try. No one fault. Everybody respects you for trying it. Nobody faults you for giving up. That's difficult as hell, and I feel like only TAS bots can do it. Uh, to answer your question, Mimsy, you might actually be able to find this because it's a HEB brand. Um, it's Cafe Ole Ground Medium Roast Taste of San Antonio. Wait. Taste of San Antonio. Does that mean it's only local? Crap. Anyway, uh, it's cinnamon, chocolate, and vanilla flavored. Lovely stuff. Really, really, really relaxing to drink. And then for a normal coffee, I have pecan and something else. You blame capitalism. That's what you said last stream. Okay. Let's see. So first things first. We need... We have a beat. Dun, dun, dun. So this, the, if I can do this without accidentally clicking on another live stream, I will try to look, wait a minute, don't I have that? I think I, I think I actually downloaded this for Kai on trial. Hold on. It should be actually already in my system. Streaming assets, Ricky T Bones. Why am I saying that out loud? Uh, yes, there it is. This is gonna get. Uh oh shit! Wait, this might not be good. It's a flak file. Ah uh, shit! I am not playing that. Yeah. Flaks do not play well if you don't have the right uh, sample rate. Uh, so I am not going to put you guys through that. I will try and find it. I'll try and find it on YouTube. Ace Attorney OST Court it should be that. It's probably going to get loud. Yeah. That's the kind of vibe we need to achieve. Real chill, real steady, real like, okay, it's time to get your thinking cap on, but probably not the same. Uh, this, there's one other, one other person who's actually live right now that I watch occasionally. Uh, Connie Confetti of Idle En. And then probably the boss's live stream is up as well. Cal Calliope Mori. Yeah, yeah, 8 p.m. She should be in the middle of playing Smash Ultimate with Fuamoko. Okay, so... Hi, hmm, this is the idle corporate house, courthouse, so where is everything? This is all spread out weird, so it's kind of hard to read everything. Oh, wait. If you look at it, oh, they ended? Huh. Weird, I would have expected a collab to go on longer than that. Whew, listen that. Okay. So... Jeez. Uh, okay, I got one one weird idea. Mm. Alright, so... If we do it on beat... Okay, gotcha. That clap is from behind me, not the not the music. Okay, so... <clears throat> hmm. How do I want to go about this? I guess first... Let's 
pick an idea. <laughs> so. Hmm, maybe. No, not making the metronome. So the original beat is like on beat. So there is a metronome. And I can disable it every anytime I need to. Mmm, I don't like the Latin beat. <laughs> this is Ableton Live. Ableton Live 10. Uh, Reaper looks only a little bit different, and I should probably change that at some point. It's got, supposedly it has, like, a lot of customizability. I kind of want to play UX2 to remember how what is where or how to get stuff to help you with your inventory when you have to play it. It's not a bad idea. A nice way to kill time. The music does take a bit of a bit of a process. Mm, no, I do not want that beat in my game. Uh, Ableton is good to me um, for plugins and making stuff it's not good for mixing like there's some co there's some ways it does mixing that just don't work in that in a nutshell that's why i bring it over to reaper whenever i want to do the final bits like reaper ha has a good way of doing panning this it just silences one channel and if you try to mix that together with another thing it doesn't split it doesn't properly split the channels. So that's why I don't like it. Um, if I make it steady like it is in the game. <laughs> so. Uh, nah, I don't want to go with that steady beat. I know, right? I mean. I don't remember exactly what. Isn't able to me by the Germans? Am I mistaken? I'm not sure, but oversight is is a common thing with larger larger companies. I think. Give me a second. I'm gonna go pick out a key. Uh, let's say. Weird idea. What does B major have? Scale piano. If you don't know what a scale is, the short of it is. If I choose a scale now, I have a blueprint of what I... What the hell? That's all flat. That's all sharps. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Oh, so is that what the... That might be the key that actually, um... It's time to rest is made in. Good God in heaven. Nope, that's a bad idea. Okay, let's do... Uh, Kai is a dragon, so D... Major might be interesting D major has two flats that can be nice so that's D E F sharp G A B C sharp D that's also flight of the Valkyries I just remembered hold on so this is the scale we're working with here oh god there's so many cups in front of me give me just one second book goes away. We'll only do this for a little bit longer. I uh, I can't believe it's already been... Okay, well, well no, actually, no, I, I can't believe it. Uh, we've been only... We've only been live for 45 minutes. I just remembered. Let's see if that's actually going to pick it up. I am... Oh, right, I'm not on the right sound font for that. Give me just one more. I'll drag in a simple... Yeah, not even a full hour in, exactly. Where is... I want... Instruments, simpler... Pop that out, and I'm gonna get a simple grand piano that comes with Ableton. 
what I found out recently is that you really want to keep it as simple as possible when you're starting. Like, even Mick Gordon says, just start it with whatever bullshit you can pull together and work from there. Yeah, so. Let's see, what does, what is a D major? Let's see. I have a MIDI piano in front of me. That's, that's close to. That is, okay, never mind. Yeah, that, that is close to, if not actually, Fly of the Valkyrie's key. So that's the fun thing about keys, is that I can literally go anywhere on these, so long as I know where I need to be, and just create whatever I like. So any, any, any melody can erupt from this, so I can go anywhere. And it'll sound just fine. It All of them have their own intonation, but the idea is there that you have a blueprint. That's music theory in a nutshell. So, I don't know what Kai's BGM key is, but we're gonna have to just go with this. So, let me double, let me write that down, so I don't have to look at my Google Chrome every time. The notes I am allowed to use are as follows: D, E, F sharp, which I've written before. G, A, B, C sharp, a interesting coding software that I've never been able to understand, and again, D at the, what is that, eighth mark, mark? If I, if my, <laughs> if my time with how music theory for dummies has stayed with me somehow. Legit, I, I read through that entire thing just while I was, like, stuck at the laundromat. Surprisingly, surprisingly helpful. So let's go ahead and duplicate that, because I don't want to have to re... Oh, Banana Man. No guesses from me as to what you did. Let's see. You sue that buck? Okay, let's find something that's nice and relaxing and not a square. 72 achievements in Pizza Tower. Well done. Well done. Let's see. Is, do I have... <laughs> note <laughs> that's so so wow questionable way to wa walk into a stream hello hello Adachi Chaos <laughs> ooh ah uh. Uh, let's see. My window is broken. My roof got caved in by Ryan, and now there's going to be a explosive explosion right outside the building. Great, great. I'll record it and add it to the mix. Where is a bass? Come on. Okay, electric piano, synth piano, marimba. What is a marimba doing there? Jazz guitar, distortion guitar, here we go. Fretless bass. Wait, that sounds like... Oh god, we're back in Doom 2. 
You can wait, fix the window, I swear. You did fix, you did, you did add a chimney in. I, I'm sure Sandy will appreciate that. Okay, let's stick with that and just... Skyrim, nice. It's a chill stream, so don't expect much to be happening in the moment, at the moment. All right. Let's try. Let's try making this work, because I want to... Okay, a little less aggressive, please. Dun, dun. I want to try and keep that same feeling. Keep in mind, a homeless person might steal them. They may be more of a danger. <laughs> ah, okay. So people are going to find um, dragon food in their pockets and then said dragon will probably come to eat them. Or whatever the equivalent of dropping a frag in somebody's pocket is in Skyrim. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unpin the message and drop a new one. Just in case anybody pops in and doesn't know who, what the hell is going on. Uh, variety stream. Anything and... Actually, I'm just... What? But it's, uh, happening. And pin. It's absolutely vague and unhelpful, but anything and everything all the time, yeah. Ah, no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> okay. We have D, E, F, sharp. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Wait. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, da, dun, dun. No, that's a no. This is the weird part when you have like nothing to do, and you have to really like grasp it, grasp, grasp with the air. Ba, da, da, da. Ah. Yeah, I just gotta feel out. So let's not put that at the beginning because I need some space to loop. Dun, dun, dun. And we'll go ahead and duplicate it because maybe I shouldn't start with the base. I don't know. Let's see what else we can find. I'm going to look through, see if I can find something like a simple synth. We need something to, to fill out that upper air echelon. Square, bad idea. Atmosphere. One of these was really good. That's not bad. Mm. Ow. Wait, what about just a normal, normal friggin' piano? I hate S4 Zotto so much, but it's so, so renegade. Yeah. The good old fashioned Ace Attorney piano. Oh, no, wait, that's only good for the intro, never mind. Like, setting up the scene. Hmm. Okay.
What was that? Interesting, starting with a minor chord. Where is that? Oh, I see. Oh, but wait, that's off key. Uh, what is that? That's C. That's off key, yeah. Yeah, because that has a C in it, but... No, scales aren't meant to be unbroken. Unless... Oh, wait, no, that's a major scale. I can't break that. Hmm... Because if I use the scale I've got now... Wait a minute. Nope, that doesn't work. Nope. What am I... What is it? I have to use F sharp. Wait. What does that remind me of? Dun 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 dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. That reminds me of um, the danger theme from uh... mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just straight up from Metroid Fusion. I like that. Um... Yeah, that's just kind of playing around the C major C major scale. I've done that so many times. Let's see. What can I hit? I can hit That's an that's a suspended chord. I have access to D. Aha, there we go. Oh my goodness, I can't... We had something going... You know what, why not? Hmm, that could work. Nope. Yeah, that... I think I'm gonna have to switch to C major instead. Okay, that's fine. C major is easy. You just have to look at all the white keys and say, Oh yeah, that's what I can play. So... No, now how do you get from here to here? That's how you do it. Wow, okay, that's an interesting chord structure. So that is, if I recall correctly, that is... That would be D minor, I think. Probably, because that's C major. That's D major, yes. Okay, so it's D minor. D minor. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's a 
E minor. C major is bordering on being the Swiss Army knife of music. Exactly, yes. You can... <laughs> you can really just kind of make almost anything with all the white keys. And that is one, two, three, four... What? What? One, two, three, four... One, two, three... That is a F major. So F, F, D, E, E minor, and then Is that... What could that possibly be? Okay, that is... Ha! Oh, wow, okay, that's stupid. That's really stupid. I love music theory. And then inversion. That's a single inversion. That's just a single inversion. That's ridiculous. If you don't know what, it's single, what I mean by single inversion... Let me go ahead and actually scroll down. Oh, yeah. So, the red indicates where we are. This is a F, this is a F major chord. It is F, A, and C. We go from here, E minor, and then same idea here, but when, instead we play these two up here, and then down. I may have made a mistake. Did I? I made a mistake, yes. There we go. Okay, my bad. Is that it? Is that what I played? Oh, god damn it. I always do this. That, okay, now I know what I did. Now I know what I did. So it's... Questionable. Questionable. I don't know what I did. Shit. <laughs> I have to look back at the VOD now. Whatever. So let's just go ahead and record that. What is that? I can't play live. So I always have to do this weirdly. So let's go ahead and disable the kick. And then... We'll do that offbeat. Yeah, so it's gonna be like that. Staccato. Needs to be a little closer. And off beat by one. And then needs to be major. That needs to be second, every other beat. No, on beat. Dun, dun, dun. That's the lovely thing about MIDI, is that it makes everything, reading everything so much easier. And that needs to be on half beats. It's all gonna sound like garbage once we get it to the beat. Be proper. Just calling it right now. But we're just kind of syncopating it at the moment for fun. Oh, please slay, please save.
There we go, yeah. Is that gonna work? No, that's that's suspended, but hold on. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, what was I doing? It was... Nope, not that. There we go. That's what I need to hit next. That is an inverted chord, and then into its its proper. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so it can be on beat. Uh, that sounds wrong. Interesting. Okay, that would be kind of climactic and then it loops. So let's hear it. Oh, uh, God. What is that? I, I need to swap something around here. Bad idea. Bad idea. Wait a minute. Nope. I mean, that kind of sounds jazzy in that way it's, like, really screwed up. But... Alright, let's hit... Let's kick it... Kick it in. Oh, God, yeah, that's bad. So... It kind of becomes, like, a boom-bap sort of feel. God in heaven. Okay, maybe the maybe now the metronome is off. Like we might need to actually fix this up so that it fits proper because I like this melody. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so that's late. That actually made it fit pretty well, but I don't think it's going to fit with this scheme. Oh, wow. Now I just need to fix this. Oh, God, no. That made it worse. That made it really nice, actually. Fixing it up so that it's properly in beat worked. Cool. And just so we're clear, there's one wonderful thing, wonderful big difference between making like SNES music and making DS music. Um, DS, so SNES is. And this is something I had to deal with as I was doing the remixes. SNESs have only eight channels. You can only have eight sounds, not music, eight sounds playing at one time. So let's say, like, you've probably heard it if you've played an SNES game before. Sometimes the music drops out as you're getting, like, crazy intense with all the fighting. Um, that is the limitations of the hardware at play. It's literally the developers choosing to knock out sounds in terms of priority um, in order to, like, um, what, what's the term? Yeah, because you can hear it definitely a lot in Mega Man X. Um, but the DS, thankfully, has 16 channels, so that's, like, eight dedicated to just the sounds, eight dedicated to the music, and I barely have to worry about a thing. Just like your... Sp <laughs> Uh, that's, that's, 
That's only something a desk jockey could understand. Like myself. Ah, oh, that's suspenseful. That doesn't work. Uh, we're gonna have to leave it like that. We're gonna leave it like that and see if it works down the line. So this is gonna be our rhythm. We need that just to loop. And then I like the, the back beat. But let's go ahead and add a little spice to it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. That could work. One, one, two. Yeah, that, that's that's fun, kind of peppy. It is kind of giving me some weird Latin vibes, though. <laughs> uh, which wouldn't be far off the mark. So... Let's make that a little quieter. And let's see if we can find... There we go. One, two, three. Uh, not on beat. Maybe once every one, every once in a while. And then the bass can probably go like crazy around everything. So like, if we're starting on C, let's. You really just want to ask a hundred questions about every person here, but it feels weird. Eh, it's a community, like. Up to y'all if one if y'all want to chat amongst yourselves. I mean, I'm not doing anything particularly special on screen. That reminds me, we never got to the rest of our fun activities for the night. Let's see. All right, tell you what, I'll do a a baseline on this, and just see what we can get in terms of like. Yeah. So we'll we'll try to do a baseline here. I'm surprised this has actually kept you guys this long. I didn't think music making streams would be this interesting. So let's go ahead and instead of... Careful, Mimsy could be working for the FBI. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just leave this to one loop that we work on. You love music production. This is literally and metaphorically my jam. Wow, really? Do you like making music, though? Or do you just like watching it? Because if, if you actually like making music, man, <laughs> um, we might have to add each other on Discord. <laughs> Even if not. Seriously! Holy shit! Hmm. I mean, teach me your ways, Bone Sama. <laughs> All right. So first, you have to sacrifice at least eighteen hours of sleep. Maybe even more so, considering I've been doing this for about five years. I mean, assuming Hacker Man wouldn't kill us, I'd be down for like a Guilty Gear collab. All right, already done. Good, good. You are learning well, gra Grasshopper. <laughs> um, I've honestly considered like approaching you about a collab, Frankie, because like you and I are on the same level in terms of like people we interact interact with. Very few, which is to say the least. Um, my only concern would be like actually organizing what day because Spooktober's coming up. But I, uh, if you do, 
if you do still have X or Twitter or whatever the fuck they call it these days, um, I'm I'm still on there. I don't post anymore there because it's it's gonna go monetized. Only so, buddy, you've seen how I play. I'm no better than you, more than likely. Okay. Okay, so that's a cool beat, and then I need to keep it interesting. Then, so, beat, beat, one, two, three, one. Uh, a little more interesting than that. Yeah, once they unmonetize that shit, I'm out. Huh? Oh god, don't tell me it's an old one. Hang on, let me bring that bring that up. Uh-oh, that's that's bad if that's the case. Oh, you know what? It might be because that might be the old link. Yeah, more than likely it's the old link because um, my handle used to be the sergeant, which is a name I went over. I went I went long long time ago. I went with a long long time ago. All my friends from my old days know me as Sarge. Uh, I will actually go ahead. Edit. Okay, let me see. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's Instagram, not Twitter. What the hell? <laughs> Surprisingly, no. Um... My Sarge originally was based on like all the sergeants I'd seen in the WW2 movies. That was my initial idea. Anyway, uh, here, let me just drop it in the Twitter crash. <laughs> oh shit, wait, that's just gonna go to Twitter. Remove that. Uh, where is Papa Louie game fight? Yeah. Interesting. That's my current Twitter handle right there. Uh, if you want, Frankie, you can DM me your Discord info and... Uh, maybe we can arrange to have like an offline collab. Of at least like testing it out, seeing how the hell we would actually pull it off. Uh, I'm sure one of us is going to break each other's ears on first meeting. Be wary of that. I've had people call me quiet and call me loud over Discord. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense because uh, Twitter, Twitter doesn't let you see anything if you don't have an account. So yeah, my DMs should still be open from when I had to interact with the TMNT X Justice League guy. Thank you, thank you. There's not going to be anything on there. But you should be able to DM me, or I should be able to... One new request. Oh god, that's 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 a bot. And Interesting. Hold on. Uh, get rid of that. Dun 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 dun. A bot on Twitter? Unheard of! Yeah, I know. There, you have a you have a DM request. All right. Continuing onward. Ah, that doesn't sound interesting enough. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that works. That's getting on my freaking nerves at this point, so I'm gonna disable that. I'll have to fix that later. 
Okay, so that needs to get slammed over here. One, two, two, two. <laughs> Frankie, you are a stronger weeb than I than I give you credit for. You always surprise me with your knowledge. Anyway, um, I'll just eh, so I can keep try and get in contact with you sometime soon. Uh, just drop your Discord contact info or whatever the heck it is. I don't know. I don't know how you share on Discord anymore. Without weebdom is without limit. Amen. Amen, good sir. Yeah. So I'll check back on Twitter. <clears throat> uh, hopefully your stuff is there, and I will add you when I get the chance. And, I don't know, maybe maybe we'll try to... You can. Uh, let me see. Let me double check how it is you are supposed to... Not copy user ID, that's not how you go about that. Hmm. I have... You know what, I might be the only Ricky T. Bones on Discord. <laughs> I don't know, I found out I was the only Ricky T. Bones channel on YouTube recently, so that's pretty cool. But yeah. Okay, this song... That's... Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I see what the problem is. Time to learn how to navigate social media. So, okay, now that's a nice cleaner loop. I still don't like this right here, but that's nothing I can do about that at the moment. Now, as for that... It's an annoying song. I'll need to tweak it a lot more. So, we could just follow this. What is that? D... E... F, E, into A. Instead, what we'll do is... Okay. That could be fun. Okay, let's start with that. And make it a little louder. Oh god, that sounds kitty. Ooh, interesting. Okay, this could be a little syncopated then. So... Do, do, do... And then go until the end. <laughs> sort of like dangerous feeling. And then that... Now we can start extending it a little bit because we don't want a repetitive bass. So, how does that all fit together? Oh, that doesn't fit at all. Okay, there we go. Just had to... Just had to move it up a little bit. Let's let's be a little weird with it. Boom, 
I don't think I have enough room for that. No, I do not. One, two, back one, two, and then make it staccato. And then if you want to be really cheap with it, you can, <clears throat> you can just be lazy and be selective about when it comes in. <laughs> so for this, Okay, that's my bad. Yeah, if you want to be really lazy and just stick to one idea, you can do this stupid stupidity right here. It's not what I advise. It's a great way to make a simple, simple little jingle. I definitely want to flesh this out a lot more, but you can do it with either... Uh, what is it? You can make something interesting without having to do much work. Like, you can make a bunch of pieces that fit right together and just add more and more instrumentation to it. Like, you can keep a lot of stuff really, really stale, surprisingly. Stupid as... <laughs> hey, don't sell yourself short there, Frankie. What am I... Bobento? As Cake likes to say. Oh, ho, I see a notification. Oh, for God's sake, please let me out of this. There it is. Frankie Bagman. And now available to you on Discord. We will talk again. We will talk someday. Okay. So. Um, you, I will chat with you when I get this chat, when I get a chance. Uh, I'm figuring the way I want to do collabs, assuming I ever get to collab with anyone other than you. Um, I always want to like do a dry run where it's like, hey, let's, let's feel each other out. Don't, not literally, you can't do that over the internet, you get arrested. But I mean like, let's chill. Let's chill. Let's see if this is going to be an okay thing for us. I already know you're chill, Frankie, honestly. Like, I've seen a couple of your streams. You're really... You're a really, uh... You're a really chill individual. Even, you even picked some really nice games, too. Okay, so... This is how you do short form. I'm going to go ahead and freaking... Okay. I need to get rid of these horrid colors by replacing them with more apt colors to the character we're introducing here. There we go. And then, yeah, you basically have a theme right there. And then from there, what you can do, because you've got all these pieces now, I should really, I should really like spice this up by adding like more chord structure to this, but just for, because we're on the, we're on a time limit now, uh, we got 10 minutes before we hit 11, our usual time. I kind of want this to go a little longer because I'm, I'm actually having a really good time at the moment. <laughs> Uh, we won't be doing more music after past 11, but I want to just do a couple more things before we call it, call it a night. And more cowbell! <laughs> right. Hang on. Where is it? There's a... 
There's a leftover piece from a certain a certain samurai. Where is it? <laughs> what is it? Yo! <laughs> I know that wasn't your intention, but that's all I heard when I read that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not doing that because that's, uh, we're talking about a, <laughs> we're talking about a Puerto Rican dragon here. Nice. Okay. Wait a minute, we can actually switch this up right now. And... Uh, that doesn't sound right. Oh god, no. It's got the right idea. Okay, what about that as a, as a loop? I think that's still annoying. Let's go ahead and drop it down and see what happens. Mm. Oh, there we go. That's kind of finality, but it works. Oh, God, wait, that sounds disgusting. Hold on. There we go. That's kind of easier on the ears. Hang on, wait, is this different? No, that's just really good looping right there. Awesome. <clears throat> okay. Now we get to have a little bit of fun and make a melody to go over the top of it. God, there's still neon green, I just realized. Sign track colored eclipse. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> you can see that. Oh God, that is awful. Sorry, has that been happening this entire time? Interesting. Uh, this is where screen capture would be nice, but unfortunately I only have one monitor and a lot of sensitive material on the desktop. Not sensitive in that way, you weirdos. I mean, like, people's names are on there. Not mine, obviously. But I got other people who have used my computer before, and they like to leave stuff everywhere. All right. Um, Frankie knows what I'm talking about. We are going to go ahead and put that there, just for f aesthetic pleasure, and okay. So, Dun, 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 dun. Maybe that could work. No, that doesn't work. Nah, that's too happy. Fear of the outside people is ever present. <laughs> uh. Okay, so this one, go ahead and look through S4 Zonto here. That's just a piano, I don't want to use that. So we need something digital, because this is not enough, like... Hmm, what do we got? 
Not gonna use orchestra hits. Oh god, okay. Uh, uh What about a saw? Oh, that's loud. Nah. Hmm. What else have we got? There should be another decent one in a different category. Synth shorts, open synth, voices, atmosphere, Kodo. Actually, a Kodo could be interesting. Yeah, it's kind of got a different sound to it amongst all the other crap. This is gonna be Oh, that works. Wow. Wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. Interesting. No, okay. Hold on, I... Okay, I need to go ahead and listen to... Okay. Alright, um... I'm not monetized, but I know copyright strikes have hit this channel before, or attempted to. Um, Kai Psychota's BGM is on YouTube. I just need to go get a reminder of, like, how it sounds. So I might actually, like, switch off audio for a second just to listen to it. Uh, where is the dragon herself? Have to hit the... <laughs> no. Let's see. Okay, let me have a listen to it, because it's also loud. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Wow, really? Okay. Uh, I should close that so I don't accidentally play it. Okay, that could be interesting. Wait a minute. Wait, oh god, that reminds me of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Um, we are currently writing some courthouse ambiance, which is turning out to be a little more funky than I gave it credit. I was, I was thinking it was going to turn out. I might have to, like, retool this later to make it a little more ambient. No. Hold on. Let's let's make this proper Kodo. Yeah, there we go.
Kodo does is more like, from what I understand, Kodo is a lot, a lot about speed. Let's see, can I double this up? <laughs> That's so fucking metal! <laughs> That's probably not good for the beat, though. Yeah, no, that's not good with the beat. I just called a Kodo metal. That's interesting. Okay. All right, we're at the 11 mark, so I'm going to go ahead and put a pin in this one. I'm, I'm amazed I got this far on stream. Like, genuinely. I didn't think I was going to have this much done. I just like remove the back beat or make it double time or make it half time that might actually work and then I need to make the the meat of it a lot more interesting than just this loop so let me see what removing one beat does Uh, we'll do it over here because this part is complete. Whoops, wrong ones. Every other beat is gone. This might make it smooth enough and then the main rhythm comes from the shake. Uh, that lost all of its energy. There's a lot of ways I could retool it, but that would take me like six hours of work. Okay. So, that was what? One hour? Thank you very much, Ryan. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out as long as you did. 11 p.m., my goodness. Uh, wherever you are, it's either 9 p.m. or 12 midnight. So, hasta mañana, amigo. Thank you for stopping by. We'll cut it. We'll cut it here in terms of the music making. Six hour stream. I am not so sure about that. Right. I'll set up the task cam outside. Hopefully you can record something without being blown to bits. So next. So that's. <clears throat> BGM making on stream. That actually worked out better than I thought. I'm glad I. I'm glad this stream has become more like an experimental thing. Uh, cry on trial writing. I mean, okay, it's either we play, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Hmm, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Damn it. The wind's blowing in again. <laughs> All from a lovingly made hole. Let's see, have a nice death. Kai on trial. Okay, you know what? Um, sure, why not? She doesn't know I exist, hopefully. So I don't feel like I have to hide with what the game looks like at the moment. Let me just put on some <clears throat> BGM. If I can find where the hell I put my radio. I don't have a radio on this one, apparently. Nice, okay. And let me go put on some some BGM that is totally DM that is hopefully DMCA free. What is it? It's called the relaxed movement. Welcome back, Chaos. You just missed Ryan walking out the door and uh, helping himself to your explosives. Uh, we just finished up what we could of the music within an hour and 
we're gonna go over to a different beast I'm working on. Um, now there's an extra large window, indeed. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, hit me with them hieroglyphics, or just be very descriptive. And I'm gonna assume it's with chaos, yes? I will... That's kind of useless because we're writing it in C major. I'll keep that for a different song. Alright, give me just one second. <clears throat> that should be the appropriate size. So this should load in smoothly. Uh, perfect. Uh, that didn't load in smoothly at all. Where is... Really? This is 1600 by 900. Why is it so big? Or it's supposed to be 1600 by 900. Whatever. Oh, I know why. It's because it's not. <laughs> it's not in the slightest. Okay, we're just going to have to deal with the weirdness that it is. Okay, let me see if that, that looks good enough. Alright, so, <clears throat> this pink blob we are looking at here is Kion Trial, or at least what's working of it. It's a full, it's a semi, f it's not a not completed VN. Starring yours truly because I have no art skills. Um, it has three characters, multiple choices, lore I don't want to get into. Holy shit! Not the door! It's barely hanging on the hinge! Anyway. So, we won't look at this too much. We're mostly going to be coding. I'm going to ask your opinion on something, and then, you know what? I'll actually farm your opinions... Damn it, that's the second window broken today. Duct tape. Shit tons of duct tape. And maybe a little bit of ethereal magic harvested from the Lost Souls of Gehenna. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to farm a couple ideas from you. And then we'll move on to whatever's next. Because I don't want to bore you with all the uh, scripting. Let's see. Stack of cash for the repairs. See ya. Okay, at least he compensated me. I appreciate that. Okay, God, I thought I thought that was <laughs> I thought that was genuine thunder for a second there. Okay. Okay, I need to six S. Of course, it starts with six S. Okay, I will. Good lord in heaven. Hold on. I'm going to I'm going to snip that and see if I can do it when we get around to <laughs> Um I'm going to snip that and see if we can actually uh pull it off. Um 6S214S Uh that is at the ready. Shot 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 shot. 214S 214 and then 632 oh slingshot okay so that is slam into them with a fist yeah 6S steady aim using to launch them fire four times while they're in the air cancel yeah yeah Okay, I see. So you're basically just holding them in the air and then Deus Ex mocking them as soon as they get wall splat. Yeah, a classic, a, ha a classic Happy Chaos combo. Wrong combo? Okay.
my per personal favorite is just 6s sl slick 6s bang 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 and then slam into them in middle of the air with what is it like i think it's like six six uh six s because it just pulls out a second gun even though you're holding one and they get wall splatted it works on the bots every time i've yet to try it on a real person though okay uh give me just one second i'm gonna do something really stupid here i think that's gonna be really stupid Six S two three six P. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, so you're you're slamming into them with your fist. You whip out your gun, bang, 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 wall splat, and then Deus Ex Machina, Machina to send it home, and the, half their health should be gone, right? <laughs> At least a little more than half. I think I've done that before, back when I played Happy Chaos a fuck ton. It's so so rude. So rude that you just get one hit, one, <laughs> one freaking. <laughs> you just have to slug them once, and okay. So it's six S curse moving at the ready. Yeah. So you curse them. You you pop them up again. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a nice standard combo for Happy Chaos. It's so rude. I've done some version of that before, but I'll definitely try it when I when I get the chance. So let me just go ahead and snip that before it leaves. Ah, shit. Wrong. Try again, snip. There you go, saved. Thank you for the lab. Thank you for the lab work. I will try this whenever we get around to playing Happy Chaos. I won't okay take much of your time with this coding stuff, but... Combo. There we go. Gaze upon... The Matrix, well, if I can find it. Probably there it is. Ah, oh, god damn it, it's big again. And then off to the right. Okay, it, the important stuff is here. Okay. And a little more to the right. Yeah, that'll do for now. So this is what Renpai looks like and the guts of it. Essentially, I can't believe how much I get to nerd out tonight. Essentially, Renpai is an overly glorified fan fiction <laughs> writer. If you want to make your own, Renpai is free to download free and it does cost a commercial license if you want to like make money off of it but for free what you get is something that you can make almost anything out of so long as you have images to back you up you basically can make any kind of visual novel you want so here this all right here this allows you to make a text box that has a character name on top of it you make several shortcuts that you can reference character and then whatever you wanted to say uh, this, oh, there's no sound prompts yet, but sound isn't too bad to understand. And then this, this all here is in-game dialogue. Another combo is CH, uh, let's see. Charge heavy? No, wait. Uh, what is CH in the grand scheme of things? Would that happen to be the new rushdown mechanic? H C K 
combo two. Or is it close? Counter hit two at. Oh, okay. Counter hit two slap. Oh, okay, yeah. It has to be a counter hit. Okay. Counter hit, steady aim. Yeah, okay. Counter hit, steady aim. Pl plops him up into the air. Fire, 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 fire. Get out of it. Deus Ex Machina. Ten can't you go into Deus Ex Machina without having to cancel? No, wait. Right, because steady aim is actually... That's right. Steady aim is actually uh, the proper stance. Expect a lot of sex age combos. It's one of his main main attributes. So yeah. Um, with this, everything you see here, you can ask to, the game to show what image you want. Hide it. Scene basically means it clears out the screen. Um, I know none of you can read any of the text here, but essentially. Kai is on trial for three charges. I have to double check what they are. Uh, the defendant is not present and instead is replaced with a cardboard cutout for comedic purposes. Expect either at the ready, curse, or Deus Ex Machina to appear in the combos. Deus Ex Machina is just a given, to my to my knowledge. I've seen some weird stuff that people have done with Happy Chaos. Like, there's one pro out there who literally does sensory overload by like probably hitboxing um at at the ready and steady aim Deus Ex Machina is basically just the combo endo for chaos yeah because the other one is an install right yeah the charges against Miss Kai Saikota are as follows driving while intoxicated uh she did a drunk driving stream quote unquote because it was an American truck, Euro truck sim, American truck simulator. At the ready is in 5H or 236, 236 Um, that's the damaging version of 236 of uh, at the ready. Yeah. So, Kai driving while intoxicated, multiple counts of false advertising. I mentioned this before. It's because of, um. That's the one we're going to tackle tonight. Multiple counts of false advertising. She has six Minecraft streams where she claims use only two, three, six, eight, four, C. Okay. Counter hits. Yeah. Um, so how do you do false advertising in a real estate scenario? Because the, the false advertising quote unquote is multiple Minecraft streams where nothing, absolutely nothing gets done, but the idea has always been the house will be complete. <laughs> That's false advertising as far as I know, but how do you make that funny? How do you defend against that, that charge? So I'll go ahead and not code it in, but instead we're going to put in these red brackets. You could say you have good plumbing and something similar and that have bad plumbing. Yeah. Right. That's false advertising. So it's a bait and switch, the classic bait and switch. How do you make that? How do you defend against? How do you? So we need supplying false evidence, right? Okay. 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 Hold on there. So charge first. I'll write down. I wonder if I can. I cannot. I can zoom this in. Oh, excellent. So now y'all can read this, right? Yes, you can, actually. Hold on. I need to double check. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can actually read it now. Nice. Okay. So. <clears throat> Joke's on you. I can't read. I know. I'm well aware. Charge of false, false advertising. Claimed to be building Minecraft house. Failed to. Oh shit. To do so for. Let me double check because I can actually go through her stream archive.
Let's see. Uh, this is my stream archive. What am I doing? Okay. Okay, so... Does she have a playlist? Because, <laughs> uh, special events, Fuyo. I'm gonna go ahead and... Okay, yeah, just in case. Uh, you're not gonna be able to hear anything for a hot second. Okay, cool. Never mind. There we go. So, uh... Take a fried... Nope. No. Okay, so one, two, three... Four. Um... Four times. Four times she has claimed to be working on the Minecraft house. On... As a thumbnail. Okay. Cool. We can work with that. Four streams. Defense one, defense two, D, de defense three. So first we need to we need to successfully defend it. Now I have I've used the it was a game argument before and it or I've already used that joke. So I'm open to one correct one good defense and two defenses that are absolutely ridiculous that wouldn't fly or maybe we could we could pull the rug out like um let's see charge one charge one was drunk driving the first um <laughs> these are the first like defenses she was doing fine that drink did nothing to her driving ability she's a lightweight immediately pointed out she was performing a DWI PSA, not getting drunk for entertainment value. That's the correct defense. Because we the prosecution in the in the bullshit way I did it, the prosecution cannot prove that there was malicious intent. I just didn't want to do it, Your Honor. <laughs> and then this was a that was a video game. It wasn't realistic at all. Where you might think that's the correct one. It actually doesn't work out because um, the prosecution plays on the idea that she is a influencer. She is supposed to be socially responsible. So you must, you must be, you, you would be influencing the next generation of drivers here and hearsay, hearsay, hearsay. And it works for a bullshit reason I won't get into. So that's the kind of writing we're doing here. So, let's see. Defense one will be correct. False advertising, claim to be building a Minecraft house and fail to do so for four streams. How do you defend against false advertising? I remember how I was going to deal with that. Um, hmm, what would a socially responsible bag do? So the bullshit reason, which is the correct reason, as always, is how can you single out Kai when your expensive shirt is made of polyester uh, not pol not when your expensive hat is made of polyester and then that will lead into the judge like shaming him like drip checking the prosecution right then and there judge drip checks Pro execution. And for the record, I used to work in retail, so I do not stand behind the statements made in this VN. I think I think Drip is the scum of the earth. 
Your honor, my trip stands in defense. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, so... I don't know, I don't know. I could make it go around some, like... I can't possibly listen to you, you dripless, worthless... I don't know. This time with a small friend. He's a frog. Hello, frog. Ribbit. 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 Frogs are nice. I never got to see anything about that Frog and Toad remake that happened a while back. He's named Potato since he looks like a skin potato. Oh, that's cute. That's nice. He, frogs have a tendency to scream. Yes, I know. Frogs are very loud, surprisingly. The defendant is exhibiting maidenless behavior. The defendant is a maiden, Frankie. The defense is maidenless. I.e. me. But that's neither here nor there. Um, actually, the defense is maiden. Mmm. You know what? Okay, what if the defense becomes, like, plays the white knight card? Oh, no, wait, no, that's gonna be weird, because this might be, this might actually... Um, this might actually be on stream, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to make that weird. Nice idea, though. That'd be funny. Um, let's see. Shit. Second defense that's gonna fail. Let's make it the obvious one. How can you know Sunio Kai? So, drip check is our way in. The second char charge is false advertising. Oh, I know. Everybody does click baits. No, that that makes that's leaning towards the correct one. Um Actually, no. Everyone does click bait. Uh, everyone does clickbait. Pro. Modernless. Uh, having trouble with your phone keyboard there? Okay. Response. Everybody does clickbait. Pro. Counter. No, I've done... Okay, I've done the joke of if everybody wanted to jump off a ledge, would you do it too? Okay, we're not going to use that one. That one leads nowhere. False advertising. So what about the content in, within itself? Uh, there was a drunk Minecraft stream. There was... Oh, good question. In my mind... Alright. Fighting a zoner or whiffing a super. You know what? I think whiffing a super is embarrassing, but... It happens a lot to me, so it's not really all that uncommon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so probably like getting oh, super blocked, but um, I would say... Because I've fought Zato 1 many a time, so I have to go with fighting a zoner. Like, I think Sora is technically a zoner in Idol Showdown, and I got absolutely clowned on one time. 
didn't get a chance to play at all. So zoners, I I I I admire zoners, but they can go to hell. <laughs> Zato isn't a zoner; he's a puppet. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah, defense two, defense two. Um. What? Rome wasn't built in a day. How can you expect... No. Public characters are actual archetype in fighting games. Really? Huh. I've only seen it in, like... I've only seen puppet character types. Yeah, no, Zonto is the only one I know of. Like, I've seen zoners from, like, Skullgirls and Killer Instinct, but puppet? I've never... I've never seen one until Zato. Zato 1. How can you single a Kai when you're single? Expensive ad is made of polyester. That's the one we works. One we works. One we works. Whip my wave Wildcats. Hmm... There's Carl and Blaze Blue. Ah, yeah. Cool, okay. They're both Arc System games, though. That doesn't really make much difference. Rosalina and Smash Bros. is a puppet? Huh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Her star bit does do a lot for her. Yeah, Luna. Yeah, Luma, Luma. Charge of false advertising. Claiming to be building a Minecraft house. Failed to do so for four streams. Uh, we might have to drop this charge because this is leading nowhere. What other heinous crimes, <laughs> quote unquote, has Kai Psychota committed? I mean, there's getting in fist fights with their chat every single time, but that's kind of a given I've seen. Uh, unpaid writers is one that I'm saving for last. This is weird building a case against somebody I like watching. A fictional case, of course. I don't think any... This is all silly stuff that wouldn't stick. stick. Like the third... Oh man, I, I want to fist my... You don't. You don't. I've seen it go, like, okay, wanting to fist fight your chat is basically like having a, how much pain I went through fighting Jacko in it, buddy, we both understood, we both understand how that pain is, Jacko, Jacko is a puppet character, you're right, oh god, yeah, okay, let's see, I went through it in XR2, XR Rev 2, um, let's see, Oh, this is actually something she is guilty of. It kind of leans towards the Minecraft thing a bit. Uh, Kai has a lot of stuff she started and never got around to making a part two. She has played only up once, although that's now sadly gone, if I recall correctly. Um, one hand clapping once. Uh, let's see. Final Fantasy 16 once. Mario Kart 8 once. Pocket Mirror once, although I'll give her, I'll give her that. She's she's a scaredy cat like yours truly. Worst matchups in the next are Johnny, Jacko, and Elfette. Ah. Um The guess is Elfette, correct? Because I, I think you have trauma with too much trauma with Johnny to ever try maining him. Bang. Yeah, right on. Okay. Um, Pikmin 4. Yes, yeah, so she has a habit of starting stuff and never finishing it. The trauma thing was a joke. Okay, cool. And Baldur's Gate 3. Wow. <laughs> it's 
the worst feeling in the world to be styled on and have it be a legitimately good move. Okay, so Kai has multiple counts of never starting anything she's fin- uh, never finishing anything she's started. Still falls under false advertising. Okay, so not- we don't have to worry about Minecraft House. Started many playthroughs without a second part. So how can you single out Kai? Your expensive hat is made of polyester. False advertising, yeah. So that one works. So false advertising sticks. Now we have more to play with. So those games weren't... This is a bad argument, by the way. This is intentionally bad. Worth finishing. Counter. Counter. Pro counter. That's the one I want to use. It's a low. Overhead, guard crush, unpunishable, combo extension, and basically turns Johnny into a Tekken character. Yeah. Yeah, and then it can be powered up <laughs> with a coin, with a frickin' two-pixel coin <laughs> that probably has a hitbox larger than it needs to. I guess you're right, Johnny was used to be bullshit, and now he's kind of... I don't know, he's kind of mid because his inputs just don't make any sense to me. Like, why the... I mean, in your... in your... in it... It doesn't make any sense. Like, which strength? Another matchup you hated in Ramlethal. Mmm. Ugh. 3D fighting combos. Wow. Those... That counter must have racked up a ton back in the day. Combination attacks? Oh, I see. All right, Mimsy, thank you for sticking around as long as you did. We'll be wrapping up shortly. I don't think I got time to work on the rest of the stuff I wrote down. The other thing was playing DVD and writing out this stuff. So, games weren't worth finishing. Pro Counter, Baldur's Gate 3. Final Fantasy 16. Actually, no, I'm going to do this in order. So, Final Fantasy 16. <clears throat> uh, the idea is that... Okay. Let's see, 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 see here. Final Fantasy 16. Mario Kart 8 doesn't count. Pikmin 4? Maybe? I don't know. Elden Ring. Okay, yes. Elden Ring can go on there because we have a defense against that. Elden Ring. Although that was a no equipment challenge. We have to actually aim it. God, no. Do you know how difficult that would be? I could see it like becoming like a magnet. Maybe, I don't know. Pikmin 4, Minecraft. Mmm. Onion ring. One shot got finished. One piece did not. <laughs> Ah, but that was leading into, like, back to school week. Um, Mario Kart 8. Yes, she did one. One viewer's Mario Kart 8 stream. Way back in the day. I actually got to be in that one. Uh, back when I was Cupbo Joe. It was weird. I even slugged her with a green shell. <laughs> it cost her the race. 
Oh, uh, it cost her a bunch of pocket mirror? Yes, actually. But Kai's a scaredy cat. Like, I understand it all too well when she says um, she would not be able to do it because of her fight or flight response. I played, um, I played Phasmophonia with my friends one time last Halloween. No shit. Um, when the ghost came a hunting, I ripped off my headset and looked away from the screen as I died. That's how bad of a scaredy cat I am. At least when it comes to Phasmophobia. When it comes to other games, hopefully I'll have a bit more bravery come this October. I mean, fear gives me a gun, amnesia gives me shit, um, but at least I don't have to, like, play it full screen. I do have to play it at night! That's my only concern, but full screen, don't gotta. Thank God. Metopia was a legacy, don't need... Okay, um... All right. All right, we're going to stick with Baldur's Gate 3 is our kicker. Elden Ring doesn't really count. I'm going to go ahead and throw in... I'm going to replace Elden Ring with Mario Kart 8 because that involves her community. And the, the title of it is... What is it? Training Arc so I can beat your ass. That training arc never started. And then... Pro Counter, Final Fantasy 16, Mario Kart 8, and Baldur's Gate 3, which she still hasn't finished. Uh, I think it's because management told her not to, but we can omit that. And... She was, like everybody else in the world, madly in love with Astarian. You know, everybody looks at Astarian and, and says, wow, that's the peak physical human body, quote unquote, or like the man I want to be with. All I see is David Bowie. Like nobody apparently remembers David Bowie when they look at Astarian. He's just a vampire David Bowie. He's like... Literally, word for word, probably like David Bowie from The Labyrinth. Which isn't a bad thing, in my in my honest opinion. He is. The man may have been shrimpy as hell, may have been twinky a bit, but dude, if you look up like his discography and every all the crazy shit he did, um, ignoring, of course, the fact his... Um, tenuous relationship with the band Queen tumultuous tumultuous is the word I'm looking for there <clears throat> uh, David Bowie was a freaking hell of a triple threat and he could sing relatively well but the man had an amazing voice an amazing demeanor if you have not seen um, Jim Henson's The Labyrinth do yourself a favor, because my sister um, was obsessed with that movie a long time ago. Still is, probably. But it's a wonderful movie filled with all sorts of muppetry and... Um, <clears throat> David Bowie in very tight black pants. And somewhere in the world, the ladies are screaming. Right, moving on. Defense number three against... Started many playthroughs without a second part. <laughs> she had better games to play. Pro counter. Like what? And the answer is Defe, because that's what I call them in the game, in the code Minecraft. And mine, Minecraft. There are. <laughs> I'm not 
if you ever find this VOD Kai, I'm not trying to call you out over your Minecraft brain rot. I did that once over Twitter as a joke, but you have a playlist of Minecraft. Let me see. How many times have you played Minecraft? 12 times. Ignoring that test. Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh, I hope you find this because you have left a unlisted video in a playlist. Oh dear God. Uh, geez, that's that's not good. That's not good. I hope there's nothing sensitive sensitive on that. I'm not gonna watch it, obviously. But yikes. Okay, so eleven times, and she has been streaming for ever since June 18th. So about half a year later, like four months later, eleven of those streams have been Minecraft. Oh, that's a great way to pull it around. Okay, we have our defense. I can work on these off stream uh, because they're going to take a lot more writing and a lot more... a lot more bull. Um, view. Where is our zoom? Would there happen to be a zoom selection? No? Okay, then I'm just going to have to eyeball it. That's probably about right. I can double check the VOD later. Imagine having brain rot. Yeah, I know. I I have experienced it. Definitely. Like, um, I, on a behest of a friend, I tried Genshin Impact. I could feel it tugging at my brain. But then I realized, okay, no, this is too much of my time. I need to step away because I'm not getting anywhere as an F2P. Um, and then I tried, on the behest of another friend, uh, Fortnite, proper. Your Dark Souls and Metal Gear Brain Rot is actually incurable. Dude, Metal Gear Brain Rot is a blessing, not a curse. You, under you understand the world better when you understand Metal Gear lore. As for Dark Souls, my condolences. You will never get any support from that. <laughs> Nobody will ask you what the Dark Souls lore is. Uh, my condolences. I'm trying to think of what useless information I have. But yeah, um... So that concludes our coding, our coding adventure. Or our writing adventure, I should say. I can work with those defenses and make them more fleshed out. Close that, because I don't want to accidentally click a Kai video. Uh, Kai's having a Donothon. What is it, starting this Friday? Yeah, Friday. So we'll be we'll be doing one shot during the first bit of it. You know all of it, though! Oh, you poor, poor soul. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if you can make, like, your opening line at the bar, like, Hey, do you know what the Ember means? That'll get you the ladies. Okay, so that's in place. We've tried to make BGM on stream. We have tried to make comedy on screen. Oh, God. Almost threw out my notepad there. Um... Not gonna do a have a nice death run because we don't have that much time. Dead by daylight players are not gonna be on it this late, so uh, I guess I can go ahead and call it here and call it a nice chill stream where we actually played no games for once. That's a shock. That's a definitive shock. I didn't expect all y'all to come out of the woodwork for a just chatting stream. Disguy a work stream disguised as a just chatting stream. But I appreciate y'all nonetheless. Frankie, I will get in touch with you when I get some free time. See if we can schedule like a, a Guilty Gear, a little Guilty Gear scrim going off. <clears throat> but uh, for the time being, I'll probably have some, I will definitely have some time next week uh, 
but for tomorrow, I will be dead ass tired because I have to wake up early, go to work, and then come home and work on some other shit. So maybe you'll practice as hard as your bag can. Go, go, get ready for my dem demise. Yay. I'm going to die. <laughs> um, but with that being said, thank y'all for coming. Let's go ahead, shut off the lo-fi. Step back over here. Please. Grab it. Phantom, dear God in heaven, you've been here the whole time. I knew it. I knew there was a suspiciously high amount of people here. Uh, let me just get myself situated. Well, I hope you enjoyed the chill stream, Phantom. It, this was majorly different than what I usually do. Yet again. But at least you got to see me animated for once. A phantom and a skeleton walk walk into a bar. They both ta order a drink, and it both falls to the floor. They both fall, and, and it all falls to the floor. Uh, okay. Uh, I am gonna be sore as hell because of how long I've been sitting here, but it was worth it because I needed, I needed to not play a game, guys. Like legit. I'm a creator. I'm a creative individual, and for the past year, I've been almost doing nothing but play, putting my heart and soul into playing video games. So it's nice that I actually got to, like, be a creator on stream for once. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for putting up with my bullshit. Chair pain gang, yeah. I don't even have a Herman Miller or a Razor chair. I got me some bullshit I picked up from Ho Office Depot. And it's starting to have some pressure issues. Oh boy. Indeed. Indeed, Phantom. Alright. I will... Oh. Uh, I think our, our, like... I'll... Ah, shit, why not? You're here anyway. Um, as soon as my internet comes back, come on! Oh, yes. For God's sake, come back. <laughs> Damn it. Come back. Come on. There we go. Okay. Am I, am I back? Am I good? Looks like I'm good. Okay. I'll extend the invitation to you as well, Phantom. If you feel if you ever if you ever want to reach out to me. Um you, if Frankie found me on Discord, you should probably be able to find me on Discord as well. I know we're like generations apart in terms of like humor and games we play, but... Hey, you're chill, dude. Anyway. I gotta go get some shut-eye for work tomorrow. It's just gonna be more inane bullshit, don't worry. I'm, I don't need to be all that awake for it. But with that being said, as always, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I should be chill. I'm ice cold as a dead guy. You just shy? Says the person who's been doing who's been doing this bullshit since February. Well, okay, no, being a streamer and being being a interactive person is much different. I don't know what it is. I think I think we described it best as like not having to worry about talking over a chat box. But I I I, I need to I need to uh, I need to I need to put my brain to rest. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Have a good night, y'all. And as always, memento viveri, memento mori. And enjoy writing your life story. Sweet dreams, y'all. Sweet dreams.